Where did it come from 50? Between two fires. A crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. It's nearly the end of the Between Two Fires mini season. Let's have a look at what tradable stuff came in with it. Uh, of course you have to buy the battle pass to get the stuff off the reward track. But note the padlock. And there's decor and stickers and paint, but none of them are new. There's dark chrome paint. Bang Bang sticker. Not tradable. Why isn't it tradable? Oh, you cheapskates. Exhaust module. It's a nice exhaust module too. It, they, they glow blue flame out of it. Ugh. But no, you can't trade that. You only get one. Um, how mean is that? Uh, we'll go in the craftable stuff afterwards. Well, it's actually you get a free one. Or free two. But you can craft it. So I'll do that later. Gladiator's Mark sticker. Gung near. Well, not that's later. New Dawn paint. That's not new. God of Speed sticker. Not new, but tradable. He says checking. And right excavator headlight. Left excavator headlight. They look good when you're trying to to do wing mirrors on an art build race car. Dangerous cargo sticker. Two of them. It is tradable. Graffiti. Paint not new. Oh, you get a free storage expansion if you bought the battle pass and unlock it on the reward track. And mandrel sticker. Yeah, freaky, isn't he? Freaky baboon. Freaky cyber baboon. To notice cyber baboon and oh light bar now they have been a rare thing they do have come out before in snowstorm i believe wasn't last year but last year year before that so they'll probably be out this year which means they're going to get really cheap or maybe they'll go up in price because people will realize how expensive they are to craft because Looking at my old spreadsheet, the crafting cost of these at the moment, if they keep the same recipe, is about three and a half, three thousand, no, no, 350. <laughs> 350 coins, and they're selling for 192. Since um, everybody, loads of people have got bought the battle pass and got them and go, oh, I can sell it for loads of coin, and the price has come down. So I've bought a few of those. That looked like a reasonable investment. Probably too many because I've run out of storage again. <laughs> and you get a Thor, and uh, and the excess levels you get an Iris. So I will expect to get. I've got two days. I've got three things left. So that's four and a half thousand. One, two, three, four. Well, I won't get one because it's uh, you've got to buy the battle pass to get it. But do all the uh, challenges, the daily challenges, the daily challenge, and the additional challenge. And uh, you can get to level 40 or level 41, but you don't get anything for going to level 41 or getting to level 40 unless you buy the battle pass, of course. Right now, the craftable stuff, except there's some important bits that you can't craft, uh, but you get them off the reward track. So let's do them. So there's a Huguenin cannon, you get two of them, Gungnir machine gun, you get two of them. There's a second one, and there's a second one, and you get a Thor, one Thor, and you get excess levels give you irises. So if we go to the crafting bench and ignore the fixed upgrades for the moment, you can you can so you can't craft the Huguenin and the Gungnir, but you do need them to make the upgraded ones. You can upgrade them. You make the upgraded ones if you have the battle pass, and then you can use those to make the Thor. And then you use the Thor and stuff to do the fixed upgrades. So when I did my reaction video, I assumed the demand would be there with the fixed upgrades. Look at those loads of them. And and therefore the price of, even though you could craft the Thor, and it, well, especially the Huguenin and the Gungnir, you got people with the battle pass get two of them at each of those. Um, but the demand would outweigh that and the price would rise. Whereas in fact, if we could go to good old Crossout DB, we can see irises have plummeted in price. 
<laughs> they're going to get even cheaper in a couple of days when the event finishes and there's no demand for them. They're going to drop even more. Must remember, note to self, buy a few irises. Look at the price of irises. Probably buy some in a couple of days. Uh, the price of the Gungnir jumped up but then sank down again and is now more or less of what it was. The Hugning has plummeted because... and then crept up a bit. Because people are getting two for free and then... but they're not being used, is the thing. I expected demand for the Thor to outstrip supply for the Thor and the same for the Hugening and the Gungnir, but it hasn't. The demand hasn't been there. Look, the Thor's gone down in price. Uh, the argument is also used in a bit of the ingredients. Uh, that's only gone up because it's not getting. There's you don't get any off the reward track and you can't craft it. So demand for these fixed upgrades, which I'll go through at the end of the video for just for posterity, they're either not very nice fixed upgrades, or demand for fixed upgrades has mostly been satiated because there's no, they're not creating the demand to push the price of the Thor and the Hugin and the Gunnir up. They've gone down in price, so there isn't the demand. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, the Thor takes the argument as an ingredient. So I was eyeing up the Wretcher fixed upgrade and thinking, ooh, I should, maybe I'd like to get that. Oh, but it takes, <laughs> it takes a generator and they get a Thor generator, and really, really expensive. But actually, <laughs> you get durability, that's okay. Explosion damage, okay. I'd rather have the explosion radius, I think just about but projectile speed is the big one that's the one i wanted one <laughs> on because i intend to use it you know in uh raids farming damaged for clan wars activity or farming plastic or electronics if i ever really need them that way so i've been knowing wretched upgrades for ages and now i can do it for the price of one thor and the price of thor <laughs> has come down oh, i can't see it in that that two weeks but over the part course of the month the price of the Thor has come down so now you can buy them for you know, 4,700 so maybe I'll upgrade my Wretcher because what's the Wretcher <laughs> selling for let's see you can see the Wretcher's price has come down as people have done exactly that <laughs> so they try got an upgrade Wretcher using the Thor and um, sold off their Wretchers so I could get half the money back. <laughs> so I could up, go from wretches, two wretches, to two fixed up wretches for the price <laughs> for about 4,000 coin. Hmm. I might want to do that. I might do that. I'll have to think about that. Don't upgrade in a hurry. <laughs> don't don't upgrade because you fear of missing out. They'll, they'll come. They'll be fixed upgrades again. And if demand for the fixed upgrades has really been satiated... Then the next mini season, thing fixed upgrades are going to get even cheaper, because <laughs> even even fewer people be wanting the upgrades. Hmm. Now that will be interesting, because <laughs> Snowstorm usually comes with some fixed upgrades as well, doesn't it? Hmm. I look forward to to the update on Thursday, presumably presuming it's next Thursday, uh, with interest. Okay, so let's go through what you can, what's tradable on the uh, <laughs> workbench. So you can make a Thor, but you need the upgrades and, and, and the argument, and the, up, and the argument isn't coming into the game. You can't, you can't buy it. You can't <laughs> well, you can buy it off the market, but that's it. And the gun near, you're getting two off the the. Uh, reward track and then the iris is the excess levels and the same for the Hugnin and then the upgraded Thor um, oh that would be where more Thors are coming from possibly because people are going oh I'm going to go for the fixed upgrade durability increase and module explosion damage reducing reduction fair enough I only need a Thor and one Gungnir and one Hugnin I might do that oh, I can't I can't do that <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, I'll do that. I haven't got an upgraded Thor. But then I would want a Thor with, probably with um, reduced mass. Because the whole point of it is light. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now there's the fixed upgrades. And I won't bother talking over those. 
is just to show you posterity if you're interested in the future some point in the future what or oh, I need to show the upgrades don't I show the upgrade and then show the ingredients but I haven't got anything more to add and so that's it for talkie talkie see you uh, well, Thursday or maybe Thursday week in the next se mini season